Skid steer is a compact machine, meant for earth moving, material handling, construction and other related tasks. Lift mechanism in skid steer, performs important earth moving, and load bearing functions. There are three different lift circuits, in the skid steer. Loader lift circuit. Bucket lift circuit. Auxiliary circuit. Lift circuits are powered by the hydraulic pump through valve block. Hydraulic pump is powered by the engine. Loader lift circuit is responsible for sending hydraulic oil to the two fixed cylinders of the loader arm. Bucket lift circuit is responsible for sending hydraulic oil to the two fixed cylinders of the bucket. Auxiliary lift circuit is responsible for sending hydraulic oil to the motors and cylinders of the optional attachments that are connected to the skid steer. Hydraulic pump in skid steer is driven by the engine. The engine drives the shaft of the hydraulic pump. This creates suction force in the pump and lets it to pull oil from the oil tank. The pump then pushes the oil under high pressure towards the valve block. Valve block acts as a gate and directs the transfer of oil to the three lift circuits according to the choice of the operator. Taking a closer view of the valve block, we can see eight input output ports for the flow of oil in and out of the valve block. Pressurized oil from the hydraulic pump enters into the valve block from this port. It is further pushed to any of the seven ports according to the choice made by the operator. The highlighted pair of ports sends and receives oil to and from the two cylinders of the loader arm. This pair of ports sends and receives oil to and from the two cylinders of the bucket. The next set of ports sends and receives oil to and from the cylinders and the motors of the optional attachment hooked onto the skid steer. This is an output port for the used hydraulic oil. The oil is sent towards the hydraulic filter, which cleans it of any foreign particle, and sends it back to the oil tank. The flow of oil to the cylinders is controlled by these spools, which are activated by the operator through a set of mechanical connections. When the spool is in the downward position, the oil is pushed through the upper port, when the spool is in the upward position, the oil is pushed through the lower port. If the oil is pushed from the upper port, it is received back from the lower port after returning from the cylinder. Similarly if the oil is pushed from the lower port, it is received back from the upper port after returning from the cylinder. All three spools are independent of each other and are activated by the operator of the skid steer according to his choice. The left spool and the central spool are activated by the left foot pedal and the right foot pedal respectively. Pushing the foot pedal with the toe pushes the spool down. Pushing the foot pedal with the ankle of the feet pulls up the spool. The left spool is connected to the left foot pedal and is therefore directly controlled by it. When the pedal is pushed down by the toe of the operator, it results in pushing down the spool. As the spool is pushed downwards, the pressurized oil escapes from the upper port. The oil travels through the connected hoses to the loader cylinders. Pushing the pistons inside the cylinders. 
This results in opening of the extensions of the cylinders, ultimately lifting the loader arm. Pushing the foot pedal by the ankle of the operator reverses the entire mechanism. The spool gets pulled up. Lower port becomes the escape route for the pressurized oil. And the pistons of the cylinders are pulled in the opposite direction. This collapses back the extension rods of the cylinders and brings down the loader arm proportionately. The central spool of the valve block is connected to the right foot pedal. When the pedal is pushed down by the toe of the operator, it affects in pushing down the spool. As the spool is pushed downwards, the pressurized oil escapes from the upper port. The oil travel through the connected hoses. The oil travels to the bucket cylinders, pushing the pistons inside the cylinders. This results in opening of the extensions of the cylinders, ultimately opening the bucket. Pushing the foot pedal by the ankle of the operator reverses the entire mechanism. The spool gets pulled up. And lower port becomes the escape route for the pressurized oil. The pistons of the cylinders are pulled in the opposite direction. This collapses back the extension rods of the cylinders and brings the bucket back to its original position. The right spool is responsible for sending oil to the attachment hooked to the skid steer. It is mechanically connected to the right control lever and hence directly controlled by it. When the operator pushes the control lever towards right. Spool is pushed downwards. The pressurized oil escapes from the upper port and travels through connected hoses to the cylinders or motors of the connected attachment. The attachment responds to the force of the pressurized oil and starts functioning. Similarly, pulling the control lever towards the operator pulls up the spool of the valve block, which results in lower port becoming the escape route for the pressurized oil, and the attachment functions in the opposite direction. We learnt that there are three lift circuits in the skid steer. The lift circuits are powered by the hydraulic pump, which sends pressurized oil to the cylinders and motors, thus powering them to function. Oil pressure to the cylinders and motors is controlled by the valve block through a set of three spools, which acts as a gate to allow or stop the flow of oil to loader cylinders, bucket cylinders, or the cylinders or motors of the connected attachment. Left spool is controlled by the left foot pedal. Central spool is controlled by the right foot pedal. Pushing the pedal at the front pushes down the spool and opens gate for the upper port. Pushing the pedal at the rear brings the spool up and opens gate for the lower port. Lifting the push from the pedal brings the spool to the center. Right spool is controlled by the right control lever. Pushing the control lever towards right, spool is pushed downwards, allowing the oil to escape from the upper port. Pulling the control lever towards left, spool is pulled upwards, allowing the oil to escape from the lower port. This concludes Chapter 2 of the training module on skid steer. We tried to bring you the detailed demonstration of the lift mechanism in skid steer and hope you enjoyed this module. Please send us your valuable feedback at cbt at the rate